Good day, Artificers. I'd like to run a little uh, show and tell today on a conversion that I did for my Ultramarines captain. And uh, what I've done is I've created a uh, sort of a unique captain for my Ultramarines force. There are 500 worlds uh, in the realm of Ultramar and uh, wanted to represent a uh, defense force or a sort of a presiding uh, protection force for one of those worlds. So I developed sort of a very Romanesque um, sort of storyline for that world and I wanted it to be sort of a, a relic world protecting uh, a relic weapon which is what you see here and the um, weapon actually is from the Daughters of Cain Cauldron of Blood set and what I've done is I've drilled out the sword held by my captain and replaced that with florist wire and that florist wire sticks out about five millimeters on either side of his hand and then what I did was I I cut the spear off the uh, character the other character um, I don't play AOS um, some kind of Medusa like character uh, from my Daughters of Cain set and drilled out the interior of that um, haft of the spear and that allowed me to then peg this spear quite firmly onto his hand. Um, the other uh, thing I did with the arm was I angled it slightly. Um, this is the captain that comes with the No No Fear uh, box set, I believe. And what happens is that his arm is actually held up and he's holding a power sword aloft um, quite far uh, up. Uh, from his chest level and what I've done is uh, allowed him to hold the spear sort of more parallel closer to parallel with the ground um, to give him sort of a more dramatic appearance um, I also did a hit swap if you look deep inside that that's actually um, a Dark Angels tech marine from uh, an old land raider set I believe and um, he's got sort of a uh, sensor package on the side of his helmet and then he's got that old sort of medieval looking um, mask and the surprising thing here is that um, his helmet is actually posable I can actually make him look around um, and you know basically look the other direction as well and the reason that is so is because his head is held in place with a magnet. And I mean, I just thought just to include a little bit of play value uh, to to him would have been fun and uh, something I wanted to do. And this was the early, the early days when I started working with magnets and that was one of the first things I did. And you can tell from his paint job that he's a little less, um, less polished and less professional than, than the way I do uh, paint these days. And and so this is it. This is a uh, interesting conversion piece uh, that I did uh, for my Ultramarines uh, captain. If I lay him down here, you'll see that um, my grid is um, a 10 millimeter grid. So you'll see that it is quite a large spear and it, that's about uh, six, nine, about 90 millimeters long and it does give a huge effect of of drama in, uh, to this to this model and i think uh, it's uh, one of the conversions that i'm particularly happy with thank you all for uh, watching this video please remember to like and subscribe and uh, it, it does me a ton of good um to to like and subscribe this video and also uh, visit my sponsor halfbox.com
come when you feel so compelled. We do give away uh, miniatures to people who list on halfbox.com as well. I'll see you all soon, and I thank you all for watching. Good day. Goodbye.